Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's Monday, so what does that mean? A new Star Wars figure of the week. What are we going to talk about today? We got. Where'd my Han Solo go? That's right. I don't have a Han. I don't have Han Solo to show you. What? You're thinking what, Junk Man? How can you not have Han Solo, the original Han Solo? Well, I do. But he's locked up behind glass, so I'm not gonna pry him out just to show it to you. I swear I have one. He's right there. See? He's right there. See? There he is. Han Solo behind glass. With Solo coming out at the end of the week, I thought what better figure than to talk about the original Han Solo. First released in 1978 as part of the original 12 line. You all knew that, I'm sure. The Han Solo did go through some changes in the late 70s. First released as the small head Han Solo, Kenner thought the head was too small for this figure. So they went back around 1979 and redid the head. This head is known as the big Han Solo head. To me, the small head looks better. I don't know what Kenner was thinking. The big head figure looks more like butt head than it does Harrison Ford. Find the small head and big head both on the Star Wars card. Very few has turned up on the Empire Strikes Back card. A very few. But the big head Han Solo continued throughout the line. He appears on the Empire Strikes Back card. Then the Return of the Jedi card. And during his Return of the Jedi run, the photo used since 1978 was changed to a new photo showing Han Solo. Han then jumped ship over to the trial logo package, but he never, never shows up on return, but he never showed up on the Power of the Force. Sad. I love that Power of the Force card. It would have been nice to see Han Solo on it. And if you go back to 1978-79, you can find Han Solo in the rare three-pack. That came with a Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Not a Luke Skywalker, an Obi-Wan Kenobi. Sorry about that. What a great three-pack to have. One thing I always loved about this Han Solo is that he came with a bent arm. It made him look really cool like he was about to get into a gunfight. Unlike all the other Star Wars figures where they held the gun straight out, Han had his bent back and a cowboy pose. I always loved that and you can make it look like he was about to do a quick draw action. Now, on the other hand, for some reason, he's given a Nazi salute. What's the deal with that, Kenner? I always loved this figure, and like I said, the smaller head version looks a lot better than the big head that Kenner thought looked better. What did you think? Did you like the big head or the small head? Come on, how can anyone like this big old ugly head? I don't know what the designers at Kenner were smoking when they thought this was better looking than that. Anyway, that's a look at Han Solo. Again, the movie comes out this weekend. I'm excited, are you? I hope so, because it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And that's what we need. It's been a long time since we had a fun Star Wars movie. So thank you for watching. We'll be back Monday with another random vintage Kenner Star Wars figure. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.